So assessing the drama work can be a challenge for teachers because they are not used to teaching art for art's sake. And of course, this is arts integration, and they probably prioritize the reading standard or the science standard that they're working on. But we have to remember that these strategies are meant for artistic expression, that there are aesthetic qualities that we're striving for, and that when we facilitate and assess, we're simply striving to create something beautiful, meaningful. Those conversations are good because you need to know the difference between what makes an exceptional, creative, aesthetic piece of work versus something which meets your expectations for what the kids should be doing in the directions that you've given them so far. Now, I'm going to give you images of actual real life children. Oh, fresh. Fresh. And um, the only context I'm really going to share with you, because we could talk about context all day, right? We could break down who these kids are, what kind of work they did last week versus this week. You know, we could really talk about all the context. But for now, let's just say they are learning about um, figurative language, there were, and we're not judging the teacher at all. <laughs> it's not about the teacher. Oh God, yes, class. Maggie's class. <laughs> So we're not going to say anything like, the teacher should have said this, this, or this. No, that's totally not it. We're focused squarely on the performance of the children. And I will give you, um, I'm, I think we'll split into, into two groups of three over here. So I'll give you one picture. And I would like you to take that one image and talk about, sorry, 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 sorry. I went out of order, see? Okay, there we go, apply. I'd like you to score, your, you, score it. Go ahead and see um, if you had to say that this tableau is developing, meeting, or exceeding expectations, what would it be? And then number two, of course, is super important. How would you, how would you provide feedback to those students in order to take it up a notch? There's always, even on exceeds, there's always another notch up. So how do you challenge them and make them improve? And then what would you do next? with this evidence that you have, with this score, with the photo, with your feedback, what would you do with that? Would you do anything with it? Maybe not. I don't know, think about it. Because this is ink right here, right? So you wanna take advantage of your ink. So here you go, get to work. Had, oh, tableau number one. My little line is just horrible. <laughs> okay. So on tableau number one, um, can you guys talk a little bit about what you discussed? <coughs> Tableau number two, we and did. what was your discussion we about? We decided that uh, we would choose developing, and we did ask the question, should we grade everybody, or just, I mean, grade everybody together as a unit, or grade people individually, because we found that one out of the three girls, like, were at the middle where she would meet it, because she's giving the variety. Well, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but on everyone's face, everyone looks like, like, wow, really. But also, I love this way of sharing um, feedback with students. If each group has all just a piece of paper, I don't know, something with that continuum on it, and this is what they get, then uh, the next time, so this is fast, right, and easy, just mark, 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 based on criteria that you know and that they know, but um, then the next time they do it, you could uh, use the same piece of paper. And instead of using dots, maybe the next time you use check marks. And you say, look, this is how you've grown since the last tableau that you did. This is your growth. That's amazing. And then the next time you do it, you could use an X. Be like, check it out. You're totally getting better and better. You are growing as an artist. Can you check that out? or opposite, if, the, if, the, if that's the case, you know? Um, but the idea that it's not really about, it's, it's always about the process of getting better. It's the growth mindset, as opposed to the fix, like, oh, I'm a meets, I'll always be a meets, that sucks. You know, that's not the message that we ever wanna communicate with assessment, but the, that here's your challenge. There's where your mark is today. Can you, um, can you move it further down on this line? And that can be a really 
quick, easy, and growth-oriented way of giving feedback to students. Okay, so what was my next question? It was something about what would the teacher do in order to challenge the students? What would you do? Let's say that you're working up toward a sharing. This was not, by the way, working up toward a sharing. This was just very explorational work. But you're working up toward a sharing, and you know that when, you want, when kids are sharing, you want them to have something they're proud of. So what kind of feedback or instruction would you do next? I think it's really clear that all three of them could use a little more commitment or and facial expression. So a revision of either um, both or one of those. A revision would be the quickest, easiest way to do it. Just say, do it again, and this time turn up the volume on your um, emotional expression. Turn up the exaggeration. Or you could do a whole mini lesson on emotional expression. Because it's not just face, right? If you're excited, it's like it is a, a whole body thing. But your face is a really important part of it. So you could turn that into a mini lesson and just do all about you know, emotions. So why not? because you don't have very much time. But it could be done in 10 minutes before recess, the, some kind of dead 10 minute time that you have. All right, what um, other ideas might you have for instruction and feedback to support these performances? I always go with the poster, like remind them and focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. Focus on your levels, focus on your body. And then just re revise that, and that's how I'm afraid Okay. Bring back the poster, tell them, or even just tell them which area of this poster can you improve on and do it. So uh, creating a little opportunity for maybe some self-assessment. Uh, I think one of the things that we all like is that we can see the three different ones. Uh -huh. so I think maybe having the kids come around to see each other. Sharing really does support instruction. So having that opportunity, uh, sometimes the, it, during sharing, the performance actually goes down a notch. I have noticed a lot of times that during rehearsals, the kids are amazing, and then when it comes time to share, that confidence becomes a more of a, a risk factor. And so it doesn't actually represent what they did. But in all of the arts, sharing is actually a part of the process. So by sharing, we get to see the fine work of others, and we have to contend with our own anxieties and risk, which is life. Right? And we also have to um, do our best and find a way to push ourselves. So I agree that sharing is a really important part of assessment. Any other final thoughts on this particular qualities of quality, looking at how we push the artistic expression of the kids? Okay, the other um, really valuable way to help kids learn about improving is to in make them do what you just did. So ask them, hey kids, what makes a quality tableau? You've been doing tableau now for two months. Two months we've done tableau. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes, I just gotta be honest with you, they're not. <coughs> so what, when, it's when it's good, when it's really, really good, what are you doing? And go ahead and list, they'll say, levels, they'll say facial expression, they'll say all those things that you've been teaching for two months already. And so then you have a list and you say, guess what, this is your list now. This is how you will judge your own work, this is how I will judge your work, and this is how your peers will judge each other's work. So we're going to use this checklist of what makes a quality tableau that you just came up with in your language. We're gonna use that, chart it up here, and refer to that, maybe instead of the poster because now it's theirs, they've, they've owned it. So involving the students in articulating what is a quality. But I also think it would be interesting for your older students, you, you guys have some smart kids in your class. And I think asking them to articulate, well, when the tableau looks not so good, why is that? Maybe it's because oh, I'm embarrassed, I'm shy. I just don't, I just don't wanna work very hard. Oh, okay, so that's what it feels like when you're making, developing Tableau and just know that you're not creating art in that case, that, that the art, artistic product is not there yet and you can do a lot better. So, get them involved.